Um, something keeps uh, popping up on the, um, the Facebook, I guess it's my Facebook oh, nice. wall or feed. I don't really don't even know what I'm doing on that. I have to ask my nieces and nephews how to do it. <laughs> Uncle Chris, I'll ever hear. All of the wonderful, uh, wonderful people that um, we've all met through music. Isn't that great? The places that the CDs and the songs and the stories and the places these guitars have uh, taken me to and the people that they have introduced me to, it's, it's pretty cool. And um, I lost a member, if you will, of my uh, musical friends, uh, someone uh, that some of you here tonight uh, might remember, but uh, a fellow by the name of Jim Frazier. Anybody remember Weird Jim? And um, Jim passed away uh, November 28th of 2017, and uh, he was just the coolest guy, and um, he is unforgettable. He looks a little bit like the ZZ Top guys, and you might even be a little bit intimidated by him, and when you get to know him, he's a teddy bear. And I can tell you stories about Jim that will make you laugh and laugh and fall off your chair. He was so funny, you know? Um, he, uh, his cousin, uh, it was Joe Frazier who was part of the uh, Chad Mitchell trio and later on a part of the Mitchell trio as that uh, group in the 60s and 70s uh, really started to, to evolve. <clears throat> and actually his name was in the song uh, Joseph uh, and Joe off of the, uh, the JD album there. So um, <clears throat> Jim told me that he liked me a lot, he liked my singing and playing but he liked my mom more than he liked me. <laughs> and I asked him why. And he said, because your mom's crazy, just like me. <laughs> Jim was pretty sad um, back in, I don't know if it was 95 or 96, but he had attended a, uh, <clears throat> a John Denver concert, I think somewhere in Virginia, it might be uh, down in Wolf Trap. And everybody knew Jim, and Jim always got uh, backstage, and. John, you know, really knew Jim uh, by name. And he was disappointed that he didn't get to see John one of the nights down there um, after a show. And I'm gonna tell this story in a terrible way. The way that Jim tells it, it's hysterical. But he was kind of sad. He said, I said, Jim, I'm gonna get on the road and start to head home. And he said, well, I'm gonna, you know, hit the men's room here and then I'm gonna head home and I said, did you talk to John? And he said, no, I didn't get to see him tonight. So I said, well, no, safe travels. So I hop in my car and I start my uh, journey up I-95 home. Jim goes in to use the men's room. He's standing there doing his thing. And who walks in to use the bathroom? But John Denver. <laughs> the way that Jim tells this story, it is un. Believable. Jim also had a knack of requesting songs at my concerts, and he would request a song, and it was a song that I had just played. <laughs> and he would say, do you know Country Roads? And I, Jim, I just played it. Well, just, well, how, yes. just how Jim, just how Jim was. You guys ready? Here's a song for Mr. Jim. Spent a time or two all on my own. 
have to say it now. What a good life, all in all. It's really fine to take a chance and hang around. To lie there by the fire and watch our evening tide. All my friends and my old lady sit and pass the pipe around. And talk of poems and prayers and promises, things that we believe in. How sweet it is to love someone, how right it is to care. How long it's been since yesterday. What about tomorrow? What about our dreams and all the memories we share? The days they passed so 